Okay guys, um, sit comfortably on the, on the floor, either cross legged or half lotus or full lotus, gently close your eyes, spine erect reaching through the crown of your head into the skies eyes closed gazed into your third eye in between your eyebrows tongue rests on the roof of your mouth a little heaviness on my face A little smile on my face, a little happiness in my heart. Absolute unconditional love in my soul. Just sitting quietly, getting ready for practice. It's early in the morning, so the space is empty. If you're in different time zone, you can clasp your hands like three times with your hands uh, straight out, one in front of you, one above you, and one below you. Just to clean up the space, to free up some space for filling it in with your vibe with your energy and to fill up the space OM is primordial sound the mantra of all mantras inhale to begin sit quietly in this new space feeling the room the vibe in the room what changed did it become more vibrant more radiant more energetically filled or maybe not just sitting there with my mind quiet warming up my palms getting ready for the practice there is energetical spots energetical knots on my body the first one and the third eye I gently massage in a circular motions or pulsating very gently not to disturb my skin it's not about the pressure that I'm applying it's about the energy that flows then two spots on the side of my nostrils If I do circular, I do inside and outward, always expanding, always ending up, expanding, growing, enlarging my energy body. And the spot on my chin, activating my body. for my morning practice 
and the temples. First inward, like closing up my body, and then outwardly, enlarging, growing, opening up my body. Then maybe one inch below my temples on the jaw. If I really relax my jaw, I feel these two little cavities and I just go in there and apply some pressure. And here's where I can apply my pressure quite physically. It's like jaw tense through the day, through the night. And by just finding this cavity and massaging into them, I unlock, I relax my jaw and release the tension. And now the spot on the base of my skull, uh, right in between the first neck vertebra and the base of the skull, not in there, but like downside up, massaging the edge of my skull. And from there, going left and right, massaging the edge of my skull all the way to my ears and then massaging the ears and warming them up giving some pleasant sensations my entire body is in my ears in my palms and in my the soles of my feet so paying some special attention to my ears you know, creating a vacuum with the base of my palms and letting go. Letting go with this juicy sound, this little clasp. And now with my fingers, if my ear channels are healthy, I go in with my fingers and then let it go and pull and pull. And fall perfect. Warming up my palms, gently massaging the skin on my head, under my hair, my spine erect, eyes closed into the third eye, tongue on the roof of my mouth. A little smile on my face, a little happiness in my heart and absolute unconditional love in my soul. And now tapping the skin, tapping fingers on the skin of my face, gently, gently I'm warming up, I'm waking up my body into the practice, bringing attention on the surface of my body going through the face, through the neck, gently, gently to make the skin more resilient, more elastic, rejuvenate and now comforting my arms, my torso, my legs, knees, the uh, back the lower back and the line of my posture sitting back quietly silently observing myself what changed in me what difference do I feel in my body compared to where I started Yoga is a marriage, a marriage of my body, my mind and my uh, soul. It's all about the get in alignment, all seven chakras get in alignment. And me, my inner self, creating out and shining brightly. I notice how I breathe. 
are my nostrils even now or they are odd? My right nostril is more open right now than my left one. My right body is more activated right now than my left brain. Um, is more activated than my right brain, my muscle inside. I do pranayama um, to even out my breath. The goal of the yoga is to balance out, to even out my body, my breath, my energy, my prana, my akasha, to align myself and meridians. Um, the pranayama is the index in the middle finger. I put it into the third eye. I close one nostril with my thumb. I inhale through the other. I switch and exhale. And inhale through my left. Exhale through the right. Full exhale and seven discrete exhale and seven discrete inhales and pumping down, pumping up. exhale and vacuum suck in my stomach guts follow the stomach up and locking my muladhara chakra my throat chakra and I'm sitting here holding my exhale is my spine erect two locks and I hold my breath not letting myself to suffocate, to start choking for diaphragm, to start contracting involuntarily, but till the moment where I can give a little bit more of exhale and go up and inhale. And lock here, lock and inhale, two locks, and holding it pumped up with air, sitting on this air, like empty inside of me, like my skin and my aura is the walls of my castle and inside it's empty. Just feel this air holding my inhale as long as I can without suffocating, without choking myself so that I can do a little bit more of inhale, like micro inhale and go to the second round.
three rounds, the third round. And sitting straight, I feel if my nostrils are even now, if they are, time stops suddenly, space stops, and I'm in nowhere, day hasn't begun yet. Night is already gone. It's time for myself, time for the chakra alignment. Time for my inner self to shine brightly. And the body is my temple, the body is my castle, my fortress, my ashram, my dome, my haram. The skin and the aura is the wall of my temple and I have 11 gates into my castle my eyes, my nostrils, my ears, my mouth my rectum and sex organ my belly button and the top of my head and today I'm focusing so through these gates I let stuff in to my fortress and I let the stuff out of my fortress. And it's all about how conscious I am about what I let in, how I let in, and what quantities, and how much of prana I let out, even watching good stuff, even hearing stuff. I'm losing my, I'm giving up my prana to the whoever I'm watching it, whoever I'm listening to. So today I put an intention to moderate, to put a guard on all 11 gates so that the interaction through these gates with the outer world is conscious and moderated. I have seven chakras from bottom up, the red Muladhara chakra in my rectum, with red roots going into the Mama Gaya, sacral chakra, orange chakra in between the navel and sex organ, then Manipura, the yellow gold chakra in my solar plexus, Anahata Har chakra, emerald green in my heart and my chest, Visudha, blue chakra in my throat, Ajna, third eye chakra, in my third eye, and two or three inches above, maybe a couple inches above the top of my head, a lotus, a purple chakra. And I do a little breath work to align chakras. Can be stiffened during the day, during the night. Um, I'm looking, I'm watching my chakras one by one, upside down, and if there is a fist, I just let it go. I release the fist and let the chakra bloom, blossom like a flower. A very fragile, a very tender thing, 
that I cannot work on directly, I can only indirectly release the fist, release the tension, release the stress, which is ego. Ego is only muscle tension and energy stiffened. So inhale through my body up, through my nose. Exhale, open up my lotus. Find the sound of the color, purple color lights up the room. Feels in me and goes out. And for the third time. And now triangle from the third eye. Indigo, deep blue, purple color. Find the sound of your chakra, your line, open it up, let it bloom, let it blossom. And for the third time. Right now, inverted triangle. Base up from my throat, blue color. Opening up the chakra, lightening up all inside and outside of me, my entire universe, this perfect blue color. Inhaling through my nose, opening up my chest, emerald green. I'm giving up, I'm giving out my heart, my love, my absolute love to the world. And for the third time. Now from the side of my rib cage and through my solar plexus I'm pressing out this gold yellow color from my Manipura. My self force. My wealth for the third time. Release the feast, relax the feast, let the chakra blossom. And now the same for my tummy, just pressing hard and pressing out the sacral orange color from my navel point, from my belly button. Forcing it out with physical pressure applied to my tummy, to the side of my stomach, lighting up the room with orange color, filling up my body with orange color, with sound, with vibration. Inhale, arms up, and exhale down through my sushumna, through my nadi, through my channel, down, pumping down the red energy of Muladhara chakra, putting my red roots from the rectum into Mama Gaia. Switching palms, pumping down this red energy, down my sushumna, straightening up my spine, straightening up my posture. And for the third time, sitting up straight, my spine erect, through the roof of my, uh, through the top of my head, reaching out into the skies, closed eyes, gazed into the third eye, tongue rests on the roof of my mouth, a little smile on my face, a little happiness in my heart, an absolute unconditional love in my soul. My chakras in alignment, all, all seven flowers blossom inside, outside of me, from bottom up, red muladhara, orange, yellow gold, emerald green, blue, indigo and purple color and I'm sitting enjoying these wonderful colors I 
have a lot of my joints in my body I'll be working through them, unlocking them to prepare my vessel, my body to Kundalini to rise up Kundalini which sleeps in my sacral chakra, in my orange chakra below my navel point three and a half spins it's sleeping in there the sacral chakra is called beloved by her that's where she loves to live first up I'm aligning, preparing, opening up, enlarging my vessel my energetical body and then unlocking my joints and then I'm gonna spin up my Kundalini so with my eyes closed I start with my eyes and in every joint I will create a vertical axis and two horizontal axis in the three-dimensional space and then I'm gonna spin the golden uh, string creating the circles in three dimensions so that it creates a sphere with a three-dimensional cross inside in the meridians crossing in one point and then a string around it so that it creates uh, a golden sphere golden and the color of my chakra and in my eyes it's gonna be blue mixing with indigo color meeting gold and I start up and down and 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 left and right 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 and charging back and forward eye bowling staring back and forward moving my eyes back and forward back and staring out back and inhale exhaling forward inhale back exhale forward back forward and now spinning the circles a gold and blue and indigo color circle counterclockwise the widest range i can give it and clockwise warming up my eyes preparing them for practice and then the other plane whatever it is for me second plane spinning my circle creating this sphere of blue and indigo and golden color and the other direction enjoying this practice and the third plane counterclockwise I don't go into pain if I meet pain anywhere I say hello pain I know you you're an indicator that there is an energy blockage there there is a muscular tension there in the other direction I'm not gonna penetrate you I'm not gonna invade you I'm not gonna make you hurt I'm gonna pet, pet you I'm gonna wrap it up with my love with my energy till you warm up enough and dissolve as the golden nectar making me even softer okay and now the same with my ears imaginary rotation with my ears first forward closing up and then expanding and a very wonderful tingling ticklish warming sensations in my ears and backward and in my mind as well it's reverse neuroplasticity by training my ears to rotate I send signals to the parts of my brains that were sleeping or deactivated before I wasn't using them and now the uh, second plane rotating my circles inward first shrinking contracting my energy body and then expanding outwardly rotating my ears and sending this neuroplasticity to my brain okay and third plane inward however funny and ticklish it might feel for my brain for my ears I work through that and outward uh, trying not
not to get my shoulders involved, my spine, my neck, just my ears. Perfect. And now my jaw. I exhale to the right, I exhale down, and I exhale forward. I only focus on my exhale and I try to give it some sound. Every asana has a breath, every breath has a sound, every sound has a feeling, emotion. first vertebra of my neck, the middle, the central vertebra, and start doing eight infinities. This is my first vertebra, not getting my shoulders involved, only my neck, only my head. First one direction, and then the opposite direction. And I do all three planes. And in circular motions and infinity motions, I give prolonged exhale. And now horizontal, one direction. And the other. Warming up my neck, my head, not getting my shoulders, not getting my spine involved. Straightening up and now like an Indian movie following my job is my neck and my head to the right Bringing over something that doesn't serve me on the left to the right Aligning my space, my positioning and meridians Even in out, down, from up, down, even in out my Prana, my akasha, aligning my sandwich point back into my center, into the center of my body. And forward. Just following my jaw is my neck with my head. The rest of the body rests. And now circles, why, why the circles? I can draw with my chin. Oh. First counterclockwise and clockwise. Oh. And second plane. and the other direction. Feel this tingling sensation in your neck, in your head, in your brain, and then the third plane. Hormonal cascade begins. Left and right brain are even out, are sleeping right now, and active as the blood flow decreases to my brains, they become smaller and they open up the space in between them for the glands to produce hormones. And the pineal gland, hypothesis, hypothalamus, produce serotonin, precursor of melatonin, endorphin in the other direction, oxytocin, and I, right now I feel like this golden nectar is rushing down my head, onto my forehead, onto my face, in the back of my neck. I'm really tingling, tickling sensations like DMT is running through my spine cord. And I'm just enjoying this, aligning my spine back, left ear 
to the left shoulder, right ear to the right shoulder, and to the right, exhale to the right. I don't go for a crack, but if it happens, it releases a lot of energy, it unlocks the joint. And now forward. Just throw my neck and head forward. Let this hormonal cascade to rush down into my face. Top of the head to the skies and left and then right, twisting my neck. Uh, neck is only directional joint, it can move in many directions, that's why I pay so much attention to warming up, to unlocking this joint. Uh, 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 uh. Now I go to my Anahata Chakra, Emerald Green. Uh, exhale forward, bring it forward, whatever doesn't serve me in between my shoulders anymore. In between my shoulder braid blades, I bring it forward uh, and align myself, my sandwich point, and I'm locking my chest. An emerald green, beautiful color lights up my chest, lights up the space around me, my entire universe that I've created. I give off, I give out my love, unconditional, eternal, absolute and for left to the right. Uh, uh, I'm releasing something that doesn't serve me anymore. Uh, 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 and I contract my spine and I rise up. Uh, and I bring it down. I let it go of my shoulders, of my spine, of my chest. I bring an emerald green lights up. And Manipur, the yellow gold, mixes with my emerald green. <sighs> so, emerald green and goldfish color. <sighs> I'm coloring my entire universe. <sighs> Straight in my spine and circles. In any of the planes I want to start with, I'll do three planes, all of them counterclockwise. I'm rotating my chest. <sighs> An emerald green and yellow gold light up the room, light me up uh, clockwise. From inside out, I'm expanding, metamorphizing the emerald green and yellow gold radiate from me to the very far uh, edges of my universe and there it go back inside of me into my black hole and dissolve there disappear and another plane clockwise same deal emerald green yellow gold and hatha chakra manipura are lightening up the space lightening up the space within me and outside of me the entire universe that i'm creating i'm giving off my love my worth, my wealth, uh, filling up the space that I've created. And a third plane, third axis, just my chest and my solar plexus. That's my sandwich point and maybe tingling sens sensations in between my shoulder blades, just enjoying and backward, opening up my chest opening up my shoulders and now shoulders just throwing them down same emerald green and yellow gold like extension of my chest extension of my solar plexus area and forward and back and exhale shoulders back because my chest goes forward. Tongue rests on the roof of my mouth. 
a little smile on my face, a little happiness in my heart, and absolute unconditional love in my soul. That's the color of love, emerald green, yellow gold. That's absolute love is all the self-worth that I have. I'm surrendering this feeling to the world. Uh, and shrink shoulders and contract. <sighs> like throwing them out, out outwardly. <sighs> and part from my body <sighs> expanding my chest. And now spinning the circles, first forward, closing up the chest, and then opening up the chest, rotating shoulders up and back. And now in the second plane, rotating shoulders inward. And some micro cracks and mystical sounds can arise in my chest, just letting them be, observing them, implementing them. With every little sound, my vessel, the vessel of my body, opens up even more, aligns even better, an emerald green and yellow gold. Oof. And the third axis, whatever it might be for me today rotating shoulders inwardly closing up shrinking my body and then opening it up growing enlarging becoming bigger occupying the universe the space that i've created with emerald green and yellow gold oh perfect align my spines arms and teeth and rotate inside inward Shoulders, extension of my chest, emerald green, yellow gold, inward and outward, expanding, growing, becoming bigger, stronger, better version of myself. With the top of my head, I reach into the skies and tease uh, my arms and tease and now wrists. I rotate the wrist inward with my arms and T, and I do it like forcefully. I, I put a little bit of tension in there and I feel this little golden strings that are running down from my wrists into my forearms and uh, arms and shoulders. Ooh. Now little knuckles with my fingers with my arms in tea. Just knock 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 knock. My fingers are very funny and now rotating circles first palms inward and outward it's another little neuroplasticity experiment for my brain and my fingers start laughing they're giggling and my brain starts laughing too it enjoys this little exercise and my ring fingers and my pinkies the finest fingers of all inward and outward opening up the space and now my arms with my fingers inward and opening up my chest in and out in and out in and out in and out perfect now little twists left arm goes up then right goes up right behind me left up Ooh. Twist around the axis of my spine, like my entire torso is activated right now and I'm going deeper into my sacral chakra orange and root chakra red. My all seven chakras are activated right now. And right uh, elbow on the ground, left arm stretched. Inhale, exhale, the other side. Uh, tense my palm, bring it to 90 degrees. So that to stretch through the right side of the body. And left side, one more. Uh, and right side. Ooh, perfect. And now left arm to the... Oh, right uh, knee and vice versa. Uh. Oh, gosh. And one more time to the right. Full twists and to the left. Perfect. Now 
inhale, fist in front of your chest, inhale to the left, and exhale to the right. In a final attempt, I'm bringing Prana Akasha from left to right, left to right, left to right. Aligning myself in the universe, my assemblage point, aligning myself in the meridians. And now interlace my fingers. If I'm right, to left go above, above right. If I'm right, left it, then right fingers go above. Left index fingers out. My arms to my ears, stretching up and exhale to the right. My massage my kidney, uh, my internal organs, just stretching through my arms and twisting like micro twists around my spine, around the axis of my spine, to the right. Perfect. Palms rest on the uh, knees. Uh, I can do mudra of index finger, uh, circling with the thumb. Erect my spine, reach with the crown of my head into the skies. Eyes closed, gazed into the third eye. A little smile on my face, little happiness in my heart, an absolute unconditional love in my soul and from here I start rotating my spine cord creating this little tickling friction in my sacrum in my tailbone my legs or my hip joints or my yoni in my seven chakras, my torso, my spinal cord is my lingam. And I create this wonderful tingling, tickling sensation where exactly they collide. <clears throat> and like red sparks in the other direction, red and orange sparks of desire of Kundalini being awakened rise up my spine, fill up my vessel. I align my vessel, it's in a perfect alignment right now. It's big, large, and ready to accommodate the Kundalini being awakened right now in the sacred chakra. <clears throat> Unwinding its three and a half spins. And from here, I can stretch out my legs. Uh, just like stretch them a little bit, shake them off, and sit, remove the flesh from my seat bones, erect my spine, inhale, seated mountain pose, and exhale, seated back bend, inhale, seated mountain, and exhale, go down and stretch my legs for the first time uh, on this day just go down a little bit and stretch my hamstrings just release it a little bit and feel this nectar feel this energy of mama god red energy floating up the hamstrings releasing the tension and going into my Mulakara chakra. Uh, perfect. And from here, lying down on my back and same 90 degree angle. Um, I can bend my legs, it's important that my shoulder blades stay on the ground. And from here, 
bring my legs over my head. Slowly, slowly. Stretching the back of my legs, my hamstrings. Feeling how they become empty. Letting all this nectar, all this energy flow, freely flow down my, up my legs into Mulakara Chakra, into the tailbone. And from here, if it's within my practice, I make a support with my palms and I raise my legs up. Like a little drop, like a little atman on the string, feeling like Papa Brahman grabbed me by my feet and raised me up into the skies. And here I am, just hanging, enjoying a little Atman on the string in between Papa Brahman and center of the earth, Mama Gaia. And the next thing, exhale, my legs straight. I'm bringing them down one more time. In if it's within my practice, I put my hands, palms down on the ground and feel even more spaciness, the emptiness in the back of my legs and my hamstrings, how all of this energy has been released into my Mulakara chakra right now. And as I'm ready, I slowly, slowly go one vertebrae at a time from higher vertebrae to the lower, I lower down my spine and to the ground. Slowly, slowly, lower vertebrae doesn't touch the ground, not before the higher vertebrae lies on the floor. I'm letting my spine straighten up and even out on the ground in perfect straight alignment, shoulder brace on the floor. Go to 90 degrees and let my left leg go. And I just take my right leg and I kind of milk it. I press it into my chest and I squeeze all the energy, all the tension that warmed up and floats easily through my leg into my Lakhara chakra. And then I grab uh, my big toy with index and middle finger and I open up to the right oh, gazing to the left through my left arm opening up the internal part portion of my hamstring of my right leg oh. inhale up and exhale interlace change my uh, grip and twist uh, watching through the right and relax here on the floor and inhale right back up exhale switch oh. same deal bringing my leg back to the chest and grab my big toy with the index and middle finger and exhale. Open up to the left and gaze into the right, compensating with my gaze through the right arm. <sighs> Open up the internal portion of my left hamstring and the right side of my body. Inhale up switch my hands and exhale gaze to the left through the left arm oh. straightening up my body from the top of my head into my right heel like lying on the cross and arms and left leg in a T alignment oh. Perfect. Inhale up and exhale. Left leg goes down. Uh, from here, I put the sole of my feet to my glutes on the ground 
and inhale, interlace my fingers on my shoulder blades. I'm opening up my throat chakra. Just breathe here. And feel how blue color, visualize the blue color leaving, being released from my throat. With all the unspoken words, unexpressed emotions. Perfect. And exhale on the ground and rotate into the table. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up and exhale. Downward facing dog. Your palms are firm on the ground. Fingers wide open, rotated maybe 10, 10 degrees outwardly. Soles of the feet on the ground. 90 degree angle in the hip joints. Shoulder blades go together. I'm reaching with the top of my head in between my arms. Just standing in the downward facing dog, enjoying this practice. Uh, And from here, standing on my knees, two fists apart, uh, creating support for my lower back. Go into the cable pose, inhale, rotate my shoulders up and down, and gaze with my eye line back, opening up my chest, and if it's within my practice, releasing my hands. Grabbing my heels on the inside, opening my chest even more. The Anahata Chakra, the heart opener. Oh. Inhale up. And exhale, knees together. Heels together, just sitting on my heels. My spine erect, reaching with the crown of my head into the skies. Shoulders up and down. And integrating this heart opener, the Anahata Chakra opener, into my practice. Some tingling sensations, some mystical experiences. Just let it be. If my head's spinning a little bit, it's fine. Just enjoying this practice. And from here, going into the seated forward fold. Once again, removing all the flesh into my, from my seat bones. Inhale, seated mountain. Exhale, seated baby back bend. Inhale, mountain. And exhale, just go down to my legs. Uh, my palms go into the soles of my feet. Stretching myself forward. Feeling how all the legs are softened, they're warmed up, and all the tension from the hamstrings is converted into this golden reddish nectar that floats freely into my Muladhara chakra. I'm just enjoying these sensations, going folding even more. Uh, inhale, left arm forward, exhale, grab the right side of outer side of my right feet and twist to the right, looking through my right armpit. And inhale, switch, and exhale through my left armpit. And inhale, forward, going even deeper. And inhale, up. Exhale, right feet um, on the left side of the left knee. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, twist. Uh, few breaths uh, 
it's healthy right shoulder Ugh. Ugh. transfer over bring over something that doesn't serve you more in the left to bring it to the right from forward back Ugh. Ugh. inhale unwind and change your sides right arm up exhale to the left Ugh. This is your Manipura chakra opener and it's important to end up on the left whenever the inner side of your uh, thigh, your inner thigh presses into the stomach. It's important to end up on the left. And from here, just slowly, slowly lie down one vertebrae at a time. Same deal, first lower goes on the floor and then upper and in a perfect alignment lie down your spine and shoulders into the ground. Inhale, stretch your left leg and the right knee goes into the right armpit. Inhale, grow. Exhale, knee goes into the right armpit. Inhale, grow, exhale into the armpit. Inhale, right knee up, exhale, twist. Gaze through the right hand, both shoulder blades on the floor, both elbows on the floor, right palm on the floor, palm facing up right hand on the floor with every inhale i stretch with every exhale i bring right knee closer to the ground inhale up and switch and exhale left knee goes into the left armpit around the rib cage i'm not pressing into the rib cage i'm walking around the rib cage inhale straighten exhale left knee feel this tension the stretch in the back of your thigh and your glute inhale knee up exhale twist to the left Oof. oh inhale stretch through the entire body exhale shoulder blades on the floor both elbows on the floor left hand on the floor palm facing up inhale stretch exhale twist and inhale rise up into the ball of tension tense your face your nape your neck your chest your spine your stomach your lower back your glutes your thighs your calves your arms, your feet, and then exhale into the final shavasana. Spine straight on the ground. Heels in, toys out. Arms inside of your body. With the crown of your head reaching forward. Just lie down and feel the areas of your body where your body presses into Mama Guy, attaches to Mama Guy, and surrenders to the gravity, to the power of attraction, force of attraction of Mama Guy upon you. Body turns to fluid. My fortress, my castle, I have only the walls made of my skin and my aura and inside everything is liquid and that of the force of gravity it floats freely floats and presses into the ground makes these areas of my body attached to the ground heavier and i just explore the outer edges of my heels pressing into the ground my outer calves pressing into the ground, thighs, my glutes are very heavy into the ground, and I tuck in my tailbone a little bit, 
to straighten up my lower back. Relax. And then my shoulder weights are pressed into the ground. And shoulders and forearms and elbows and arms and hands and I stretch out my fingers and I let them go and through the top of my head I reach farther straightening up my neck a little bit and I feel how my neck the back of my head is super heavy lying from the ground and I'm all floating down I'm super solidly pressed into the ground and with my inner vision I focus on my breath I feel how fresh oxygenated air goes into my body enters my body through my nostrils giving them this pleasure pleasant tingling tickling sensations Oxygenated air goes into my lungs. My alveoles um, absorb the oxygen, rejuvenating, recreating, nourishing oxygen and warm up and exchange the warm up this air with a healing energy, this like sunny golden color energy of my body and I'm filling up my lungs and my stomach and from my stomach it goes into my legs, into my arms and my fortress, my castle, my ashram fills up with this beautiful sensation of healing warm energy filling me up from inside and I'm going to the edges of my physical body to, to my skin and then I deflate, I exhale from my arms, from my legs into my stomach. Stomach presses this air into the lungs and lungs with no visible effort. Let it out of my body, through my throat, through my nose. And so I complete this circle of mutually beneficial exchange. I taking in oxygen in my own rhythm, oxygenated, fresh, rejuvenating, recreating, nourishing air, and I give off the energy, the warmth, the healing, sunny color, golden color, pearlish color, energy of my body, and with each inhale I inflate even more, and going to the edges, to the walls of my castle, to my skin, I, I just observe if there is, if my body ends up ever played after my skin and there is the outer world or is there any layer in between my skin, in between my physical body and the outer world that is called aura, the energy layer the uh, warmth, this healing sensation of my body that I radiate through my skin in outer world and that creates another energetical level uh, layer of my body and with each inhale I explore it even more, I inflate and expand through my skin into my aura <laughs> and I scan my aura running through the surface of my body is it even or somewhere thinner and somewhere thicker, somewhere more dense and somewhere less dense? I even it out with each inhale, expanding like a little balloon, like a Michelin um, person. I just inflate fully into my aura, into my energetical body and deflate with each ex exhale, I deflate back into my stomach, into my lungs and through my nose. And with the next full inhale, I inhale fully into my aura, my energetical body. 
and then like a little explosions of the sun I exhale I explode through the surface of my body through my aura into the outer world I radiate this sunny energy this healing energy the love of my body into the outer world I exhale through the surface of my entire body I inhale through my nose into my lungs into my stomach legs and arms <clears throat> I inflate fully like a balloon and then I explode peacefully explode and I give up this love this healing energy through the entire surface of my body and few more explosions like this in my own rhythm I give up with no regret with no back thought I just everything I give everything I've got and through this practice I surrender to the world not just through two gates of the nostrils in my body but through my entire walls I'm open to the world right now and this each exhale I just expand and reach out even further to the moment where I'm not a fragment of the universe anymore I am the universe a healing warming loving vibrant positive universe of love and wealth and harmony I exhale into myself into my outer self and then metamorphizing I inhale myself in again and let myself out through the surface and inhale back and slowly I'm returning to my normal cycles where I inhale in through my nose into my lungs and stomach legs and arms into my aura inflate fully like a balloon and then exhale back into my stomach into my lungs and through my nose I give out this healing wonderful loving energy into the outer world so I breathe and I put up my guard back again my walls and now lying down I'm slowly coming back to my body, wiggling my toes, wiggling my fingers, and maybe with next inhale, interlacing my fingers, rotating palms out, stretching through my arms, through my legs, and exhale to my right side in the fetal pose, into the child pose, my palms under my right cheek, my um, knees are bent, I'm lying on the stomach of Mama Gaia, enjoying myself, a little kid, a little baby. And whenever I'm ready with the next inhale, I put my left palm against in front of my chest, against the floor, and I rise myself up, raise myself up into the seated position, my legs uh, crossed, half lotus, full lotus, my eyes closed, my spine erect, reaching through the top of my head into the skies, eyes gazed into the third eye, tongue resting on the roof of my mouth, a little smile on my face, a little happiness in my heart, an absolute unconditional love in my soul, arms resting on my knees, and I observe myself, my body, my castle, my temple, my ashram, my haram, my dome. It has thick walls made of skin and made of aura, this energy that protects me. And I have 11 gates into my body. And I observe the difference in between how I've started this practice and how I feel now. I feel absolutely totally guarded and secured I have a guardians on the every and each gate of my body I'm not gonna let uncontrolled quantities and qualities of stuff in 
speaking to my castle. I'm not going to let prana uncontrollably leave my castle through staring at things, through listening extensively, through allowing anything or anyone to grab my attention uncontrolled. I'm conscious about all the entrances and exits of my temple. I am the master of my temple. I live in my body, my inner, higher self. And that's my home. And with my eyes still closed in Sanskrit, we say Namaste, which means the highest, purest, divine light within me, the Atman within me, sees, salutates and recognizes the highest divine light, the Atman within you. I bring my arms to my heart center, to my third eye, and with my next exhale I bend forward and I tell you guys Namaste. And have a wonderful day today. Have a wonderful Thursday.